what is going on guys welcome back to another video so a while ago i used the uv sterilizer from my lamina flow hood to sterilize the uh, daily containers i used to um, to make tissue culture media now in that experiment what i did is that i made the media using a bottle like this i made the media and then i pour it into the daily containers and I close it and then I just I use the UV light to sterilize the container itself. The container usually they come on a they come sealed and they come clean. However, I really don't believe they are sterile. So I got very good results where the the plants that I have here they are growing very well. They have no bacteria, no contamination and the plants are very, very healthy. So they did, the experiment did very well. Now this time uh, I want to do something else. I want to give it to the next level where I'm not going to only sterilize the cup itself. I want to sterilize all the media using the UV uh, light. All right, so let's get started. So I want to make uh, tissue culture media and I want to pour it into the Mac boxes and I want to let it solidify in here and I want to use the UV light to sterilize the media and the container itself. Now these containers, I use clean them. The, these were the ones I was using for the temporary mesh bioreactor experiments. So I, they are clean, but they are not sterile whatsoever. I mean, I can just open it, put my hand in here. I already contaminate this. Okay, so let's start by making some media. So. I don't need a lot of media, I only want to do uh, 400 milliliters. There we go. Now I'm going to pour my MS. Oh, this is off. This is uh, full MS and, and sugar. So I want to do full strain MS media. there. Now I want to measure the, uh, the gelling agent. I want to do both gel and gum and agar to see if there is any difference. So then at first I want to uh, calibrate the pH. All right, so the pH has been calibrated. The media is done, uh, pretty much is done. I just need to uh, add the gelling agent. So I'll be right back. All right, so let me start with the agar. All right, now let's do the gallon gum. All right, so the media is done. Uh, now I do have to heat it up so it's, it solidifies. If I just pour this into the into the magenta boxes, it's not they are not going to solidify. So I want to take this to the microwave, and I'm going to get it to boil temperature. That is not going to sterilize the media. Um, what is going to hopefully sterilize the media is going to be the UV light. So I'll be right back. All right, so the media just came out of the microwave. It's pretty hot, it's boiling. So now I want to do is I want to pour it, um, and and I will let it solidify. Now this is the gallon gum. So that's everything. So now what I want to do is 
you can see there is no noise because the lamina flow hood is off. So everything is non-sterile whatsoever. Uh, I want to turn on the hood so you can just verify how, how it sounds whenever it's on. All right, so that was the noise of the lamina flow hood. All right, so I want to leave the, the media in here. Let it solidify. And I want to leave the, the leads out because I actually don't want any condensation because you can see they are hot, so they're going to have all the condensation. Um, I don't want that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a camera, a time-lapse camera, and I'm going to show any um, source, any contamination. So I want to have the container as clean uh, as clear as possible so all right so what i'm going to do now is i want to put my uv protection glasses and i'm going to turn on the uv light for the hood so there you go so the uv light is on now and now the the um the lab is a little bright so you may not be able to see it uh, i will take some other video whenever i take this out uh, but I'm going to leave this for uh, maybe 15, 30 minutes and then I'll be back. Right, so I just turn off the the lights from the from the lab so you can see the UV light is now uh, hitting the the uh, cups. Actually, uh, what I want to do, let me turn this off for a moment. Let me move this a little bit more to the to the center. And you can see I even used using my bare hands are not even clean let me use more to the middle so if this works that would be great um, I don't know if I would make media this way uh, this is just a fun experiment to see what happens um, I didn't mention but I did not use PPM on this media something that I did the last time uh, on the other ones is that I use PPM on the media so that helps with reducing contamination however this time I'm not using PPM it's used straight out uh, full MS media and with a full uh, 30 grams per um, per liter of, of sugars and I bought the media just to dissolve the, the agar and the gallon gum but other than that it has not been sterilized the um, MAC boxes have not been sterilized. Everything is from the UV light. I want to set a camera, time-lapse camera I have here. And I want to uh, to see if they get contaminated. So I want to document the whole process. Uh, if we, they get contaminated, I will, uh, I will show you in the next video. Well, not the next video because it's going to take some time. But the idea is uh, if they don't get contaminated, I'm going to put some plants in. And then I'm going to still record using the timeless camera and see how the plants do. So hopefully they don't get contaminated. Um, so I, I'm labeling this uh, video as part one. Uh, it's definitely going to be a part two where I'm going to show you if they, this ex if they go contaminated or not. And if they... If they didn't go contaminated, I'm going to put the plants there and then we're going to have a third plan, a third video and see how they how they do. Alright, so I think this is it for today and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Alright, so this is the setup I'm, I'm working with. So the time lapse is on a tripod which is uh, secured to the to the shelf and the uh, magenta posters are inside of this um uh, how you call this um you use this to take some pictures uh, some like a stock picture so they're there if there is any if there is any contamination we're going to to see in like one or two weeks so uh you will see the time last video uh whenever i make the next update all right see you hey everyone thanks for watching the video 
If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.